I never really understood why people drink alcohol. How one could justify throwing their health away for a bitter taste of hedonism. How one could expect to rectify their struggles by pursuing purpose through pleasure. How one could resort to such desperate measures as a respite from those fallen feelings. Those calls to healing that they hide in empty bottles, those long dealings between Budweiser's and broken throttles. Those people that get caught in the crossfire between addiction and contentment. Those people that become collateral in the projection of resentment. The protection of these vices is a prison of the mind. Sort of like the love that I can't leave behind, you see. She was my beloved Budweiser on the beach. She helped me find those places that only open bottles can reach. She taught me those lessons that only broken bottles can teach. She became the genie in the bottle that I once drank from. She fulfilled my wishes like cognac kisses on the California coast. She became the bourbon that bore the burden of my brain's afflictions but her vodka vindications were my very worst addiction. These words escaped from bottles like phantoms from my past. That ransom paid for rehab when I tried to heal too fast, you see. You don't beat your addiction in one day, or one month, or one year. You beat it by filling the flask of your fears with tequila tears that you pour in remembrance. Those broken beers that bear a resemblance to peace must be seen for what they are. That liquor longing forever lost in favor of your freedom. Sobriety of the heart when you no longer need them when I no longer need you. I never really understood why people drink alcohol, but now I do.